Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 7. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues, for she teacheth temperance, prudence, justice, and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. I want to give all praises out and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world innovatively calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world innovatively calls Jesus Christ, and his new God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, and Shalom to the elect. Who the most I have given is to hear. And um, this lesson is going to go um into what it takes to run the lord's business our lord and savior yahweh shot and um to run any business all right you need these attributes knowing that it's not going to be easy ride you know as a matter of fact a lot of times you know you you'll make mistakes um you may even at times be discouraged, you know, but this is what it takes to uh, sit with the king of kings, Yahweh Shah, you know, this is what it takes. So it says, if riches be a possession to be desired in this life. Actually, it's lucky. I read seven, but I'll start up at um verse five. Wisdom of Solomon eight and five. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, <sighs> what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? And if prudence work, who of all that are that are is a more cunning workman than she. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. Okay? And if we love righteousness, if we love the appearing of Yahawashai, okay, and this word to take hold of this earth, as the scriptures, um, as Yahawashai even told us to pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay? So if we love righteousness if we, you know, sincerely waiting to see the day Yahweh Shah comes back. Okay. These are the things that we will uh, exercise ourselves in. Temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude. Now I have it over here in the good news translation, right? It says, do you love justice? Righteousness and justice, same thing. All the virtues are the results of wisdom's work. Justice and courage, which courage is another word for fortitude, self-control and understanding. Life can offer us nothing more valuable than these. Okay? And in order to be a successful businessman, we need these traits. Okay? We need courage because, again, there's times where you you know, you're going to feel discouraged. All right. You're going to have scoffers and scorners. And as Yahweh Shai even said, in the last days, there'll be many that come in, in the name of the Lord. All right. For example, um, <laughs> the IUIC, which that's not the name of the Lord. All right. Which is Israel united in Christ. However, you know, they like to uh, pass themselves off as off as God sent, all right. But if you look at their message, it's nothing but um, uh, cowardness, really. Okay, so we're gonna need that courage to overcome this flesh. Okay, and then we it's going to get even worse to where in the last hours. All right, even as as Yahweh Shai went through it, you know, feeling like the Father forsook him, it's gonna be the same for us. All right, the Lord told us what we shall be in tribulation ten days. All right, meaning the lips of time. Be thou faithful, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, so it's going to be times to where 
you know, we uh we get weak, we get weary. All right? It says self-control and understanding. Understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. That's why it's important to go into these scriptures. Okay? And um serve the spirit over the flesh. All right? As the brother in the camp always says, don't make temporary don't make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Life can offer us nothing more valuable than these. All right. Then it goes on to say, do you want to have wide experience? Wisdom knows the lessons of history and can anticipate the future. She knows how to interpret what people say and how to solve problems. OK. And at the appearing of Yahawashai, you know, those that make it on those that make it to the other side. This is all going to uh it's gonna come culminate, if that's the word, if that's the right word, into something special because you know we're gonna be able, we're gonna rule the nations. The scriptures also say that. Those that reign with those that suffer with the Lord shall also reign with him. Okay, because right now, and in the times to come, you know, this business is gonna seem like this business is taking a loss. You know, as far as people coming against us, as far as some brothers being beheaded, but it's all written. At the end of the day, you know, again, with that courage, we understand that it's, um, we don't lose. We never really lost in the end. Okay. So it says, wisdom knows the lesson of history and can anticipate the future. She knows how to interpret what people say and how to solve problems. She knows the miracles that God will perform and how the movements of history will develop. So I, did to, so I decided to take wisdom home to live with me because I knew that she would give me good advice and encourage me in times of trouble and grief. I thought to myself, because of her, I will be honored wherever people come together. The old men will respect me even though I am young. They will find that my opinions show deep insight and those in power will admire me. When I'm silent, they will wait for me to speak. And when I speak, they will pay attention. Even when I speak at length, they will listen with concentration. And what does it say in Revelations? I want to say three. Where it says, uh, um, you know, let me just grab it. Because the Lord said he will make us a pillar. All right, what's a pillar? A pillar is a, uh, it's the strength of a house. Okay, so people are going to be looking up to us, you know. People are going to be looking up to us, you know, at the, uh, you know, at, well, in the kingdom. You know, at the appearing of Yahawashai. Because we kept his word. Revelations 3 and 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I'll write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Okay? Basically meaning that the world will finally see us for who we really are. Finally see us. You know, as gods, worship us as gods because we worship the, you know, the one true, holy and living power. All right. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? All right. No, I say powers. OK. So it says, uh, they will find that my opinion show deep insight. And those in power will admire me. When I am silent, they will wait for me to speak. And when I speak, they will pay attention. Even when I speak at length, they will listen with concentration. Because of wisdom, I will gain immortality. I will live forever in the memory of those who come after me. I will hold power over nations and people. You know, and again, when you liken, um, you know, going through the pain of self-discipline, of temperance, 
you know, of courage. When times with in times where it don't seem like you know the business is going anywhere, people are going to be looking up to you. Even in this place, you know, um, you have people that, you know, come from the bottom, and they make something of themselves. You know, and then um, in process in the process of time, they uh, you know, they become famous somewhat, and they can they can teach others, you know, what they come through, what what they've come from, you know, and the strength that it took to get where they are. All right, to where they're rich, and you know, they have the things that other that others covet. All right, so yeah, man, that was pretty much it, man. Like I said, this is a mindset that we must have. As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just end it off on there, you know. Lil Willie, you brothers were edified. Shalom to the elect.